the fire. Lord have mercy. But they come to pass now. They're so sophisticated. They don't want their clothes to burst fire. They don't want their clothes to get dirty. But I rather go in the fire. And then the fire burn. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Under attack. I said, This church is under attack. The only thing that made this church different is Holy Ghost fire. The only thing that made this church different is the Holy Ghost. If the Holy Ghost is not operating in the church, we're just going to be like any social gathering. But this church from 2009, I'm calling fire! Hold on a while. Even the Rasta man believe in fire more than some of you Pentecostal people. Hold on. Those of you who don't have the Holy Ghost yet, I want you to stand with you and draw it on the Holy Ghost city. You don't have to feel anything. Just a hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Give me some 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 hallelujah. Papa. Give me some hallelujah. Let it pass through. Let it pass through. Let it pass Let it pass through. We just run around with it. Let it pass through.
You got to follow your father. It's not me. You just got to follow your father. You got to know which God you're serving. You got to make a decision to do it. It's God that God is serving. It's God that God is serving. Then you say, I'm going to do it. So let me pray. When I have your feet in the fire, when I ask of your feet, when I ask of your feet, God said, if you're lukewarm, you're going to be old. I believe some of you are going to be But he said, rather, you are cold. If you're cold, he can make your heart. Let me say this. In my closing, that the church has to get back at the place where we present our bodies on the altar as a living sacrifice. And when I'm talking about the altar, I'm not talking, you have to come here. Hey, when you're driving in your car, you can have an altar. Uh, 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 beside the washboard, wherever you are, at the computer, wherever you are, because you are presenting yourself as a God. I need you to burn out everything which is not like you. And I need the fire of God to start flow through me. There are so many things that contaminate the flow, but you need to ask God, burn out. And let the real Pentecostal fire. In 2009, the church have to move to another level in the Holy Ghost. It's more than coming in our fine suit and our fine dress. But we got to come expect a move of God. Uh, many of you have been baptized in this ministry. And folks probably tell you you got the Holy Ghost. But you got to be sure that you're sure that you're sure that you're sure. Because without the Holy Ghost, you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. You might be a good tight spirit in the church. You might be faithful to the church. But I am going to tell you the truth. You cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven without the Holy Ghost. I don't mind if you say in this ministry or what ministry you go to. The Holy Ghost is your passport to heaven. The path of the trump of God your son. And the dead in Christ. Those who die with the Holy Ghost shall call up and we who are, are remain we shall be changed and call up the meat of the air. It's take the Holy Ghost. Ask your neighbor, neighbor, do you have the Holy Ghost? Turn to somebody beside you and ask them, neighbor, do you have